hello guys and welcome back to my channel so in this video we're gonna go ahead and implement the search function so that when we actually um, hit the search button over here and try searching for something it's actually gonna return a result for us so let's say we want to search um, for a question from the whole question that we have on our clone and we don't want, like want to go one by one searching for the question we just want to use the search box the search input over here and do that but how do we actually implement this function that's something we're gonna do in this video so let's actually head back to our base.html where we have the search the search input so we just have to look for where we have the search input and okay let's just get back here okay before stack overflow about products for team let's look for those first this is what this is um let's see let's see this is about products this is for team then this is the search input over here okay this is it so what you want to do is just round it up with a form there is already a form over here and this is going to have a, a a method of of get so its method is going to be get hopefully by now you should know what get and post simply means and does so with this now i think we are done all we need to just do is head back to our question list view so let us head back to question lists I'm sorry we need to head back to views.py and head back to head over to question list view over here so what you want to do is quite simple we're just going to define a get underscore context underscore data and context underscore data and it's going to take in self and what else is it going to take in let's give it keyword ax so keyword ax and let's get rid of the ax okay just like that make sure you are also adding a colon at the back for, to make everything work fine the way we want okay so after this the next thing we want to do is just define a variable context and we're going to set this to super and this super is going to have a dot get or the score context data and in here we're going to pass in keyword ax just like that so we pass in keyword ax and i'm still going to explain what all this does now next thing we're going to have search input so it's just a variable that's going to take whatever a user has searched and actually query it with whatever files we have um actually set for it to query hopefully you understand then we're going to say search input should be set equal to self dot self dot request dot get dot smaller get with lowercase then we're gonna search for search area search hyphen area just like this or or that okay so this search area is simply what our our base.html is supposed to have so let's go ahead and look for our our base.html this is it this is where the search thing is and this is the name search area so we are going to get whatever a user imputes into this search bar over here we're going to get whatever a user imputes in there okay so let's go ahead and make this work now back to our views.py we pass this in now after this the next thing we're going to do is simply use an if statement to check if there is something in the search input so if there is something in search input what we want to do is simply call context then we are going to call questions then we're going to call question and also there's going to be context just like that now i'm still going to explain what's going on then there's going to be question dot filter dot filter and we want to filter with title so let's filter with the title of the question you can filter with the content whatever you want so i'm going to filter with the title and we want to filter with underscore underscore icon things so what this does is it's going to check the title of of our questions and what's going on here let's let's see i don't know where are all the questions where did they go to um let's refresh this let's get back to our database and see what's actually going wrong questions we still have questions okay let's just finish this up then we're gonna make that work so titles um should be set to underscore underscore i contains then after this we're gonna set it to search impute okay then the last thing we're gonna do is just set um context 
context and this context is going to have search underscore input so it's going to go whatever we searched and it's going to set it to search input then finally we just return context return context okay that's pretty much what we want to do so all we need to do now is just break off from our terminal let's clear this out let me just come over here and close up all this already and i'm gonna open this up let's just open up a new incognito window and close that one up so let's run our server again this time around oh i think everything should work fine okay we come over here we get over to the latest question and we have all those questions here so let's try searching for a question now you see the one that has a reverse so if we say re reverse and we search what do you notice it says key error at question question okay so what we want to do is quite simple we're just going to come over here um let's pass in questions instead over here questions here and let's get back here and refresh so let's say we want to search for the word reverse in our so we search for reverse and what do you notice it actually brings up just what has reverse hopefully you understand what's going on let's say we want to search for this and let's get rid of this and put it in there hmm. okay it's how to run a python script okay so with this now when we search for it you see we actually have it there so the search button or uh, the search function is actually working and let's say we want to search for csw search and as you can see it searched for it it's single dolly it's out so as you can see it's working perfectly well the way we wanted all we just did was very easy and let me go ahead and explain it so firstly we just came over to question list view because that's actually where we want to be searching all the questions from you don't want to search a question from the detail view but from the list view so in a question list view all it was define the context get context data which is going to help us get a context data obviously then what we did was passing self and keyword acts into this then the next thing we did was define a variable context we set it to super dot get context data and we passed in keyword acts into this then to the functional area we now did search input as a variable or um, any variable you can name this whatever you want then we set it to get whatever a user imputed into this search bar over here so that's what this line of code does self dot request dot get with uppercase dot get with lowercase search area or empty string then we searched then we checked for if there is actually something in the search um, box so if there's something over here if search underscore impute then what did we do with the find context that has questions just follow along what i'm doing then we set this to quest context those questions and it's filtered with the title whatever that it's at the title okay so that's what we did over here then we passed in whatever we searched to the search input then finally we're done context i know if you're a beginner this should seem quite big to you and confusing but with time and a lot of practice it's gonna um, really really break down and you can easily assimilate and comprehend what's going on but for now that should be it for this video hopefully you guys learned something new and enjoyed it you guys actually learned how to implement a search function and we have actually done a whole lot of things in our stack overflow clone starting from the front end to the back end and a whole lot of functionality has gone into this but there is one more thing that we are supposed to do and i want to give it to you guys as a challenge try implementing the tag function over here so that users can actually put in tags and we can also filter results with tags so i want to give you this as a challenge try doing this yourself and you can um, post it on github you can just comment drop a comment on my youtube channel post it on github and we are going to add it over here to this project so i'm giving this as a challenge to you do it and i'm still gonna do my own so that's pretty much it for this video hopefully you guys learned a whole lot of things in this project from the front end to the back end to a whole lot of functionality upvotes downvotes rich text field the search button asking questions liking other people's questions answering other people's questions logging in signing up logging out and a whole lot of things and i really wanna i really wanna wish that you guys enjoyed it and learned a really 
really good thing then if you're a beginner here i know this should really seem a, a whole lot to you but with time you are really going to understand what's going on but for the meantime do make sure to drop a like on this video to consider subscribing and also drop a comment this would really mean the world to me and also it will help me and my small channel grow and i hope i'll see you guys in the next video series for now my love peace out